Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It's time to do the second half of my adventure that I've started here. So I've just arrived at the Iron Republic and I've gotten the new weapon. Now I want to go down to... Uh, I think I'm probably going to stop at the Grand Geode just to see what's going on there. Because it's been a long time since I've been there. Then Port Carnelian, do some stuff there. Uttershroom, get the Blemigans, Adam's Way, do the whole uh, cannibalism officer's quest thing. Then Empire fans, drop off the fuel. That's roughly my plan. And there's nothing to do but get to it. I've got more than enough, more than enough fuel. In fact, probably too much fuel. I'm pretty low on supplies, but I'm going to wait to buy supplies till I get to Port Carnelian, because they're actually cheaper there than they are even at London. Also, there's a nasty boat down here that I think I want to blow up. Four hundred hit points. I used to be scared of you. Not anymore. I do believe they have an aft weapon, though, so I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid getting hit. However, I'm sure their aft weapon is a lot less powerful than their front weapons, so I'm still going to get behind them. Oh my god, that thing turns so fast. Look at that. They can turn on a dime. Oh, there we go. It just now shot its aft weapon once. This thing must have a slow buildup. Ooh, only took 11 damage. That was actually really good. it. Just a one firkin of Prisoner's Honey. For something that had 400 hit points, that is so lame. Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't realize you actually gain? I just, I just realized you gain fragments for killing them. So even if you don't get actual items, you do get fragments. Which will contribute to getting another secret. Okay, that's cool. And 20 fragments, that's not bad. Uh, it's not that many, but it's not bad. And that frickin' Prisoner's Honey will come in handy when I get to the Utter's Room. Yeah, I only need 21 more fragments to get another secret, so 20 fragments is not bad. Ooh, I wonder if I can take one of those gleaming, glowing... ships around here. I'm a little bit damaged. I don't know if I want to risk it. Plus, I don't really want to piss off the Grand Geode. Or the people of the Dawn, or whatever they're called. This place is so pretty. I just love that they actually live inside of a Geode. How cool would that be? I mean, it'd be damn impractical, but it's really cool. Get a poor report. Oh, you can just straight up purchase an element of dawn. Uh, the element of dawn, that's what I need to complete, or one of the things that I need to complete. The impeller thingamabobber. Yeah, materials for the impeller. One element of dawn, cask of sapphires, 40 units of stitch and ivory. Yeah, so the element of dawn is the only thing that I don't know where to get, or rather, didn't know where to get. Now I do know. What do I need, though? Vital intelligence and 50 supplies. <gasps> Ooh. That's a lot. Uh, assuming I purchase it from Port Carnelian, which I probably would, because it's right next door. That's like... I... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much money that is, but that's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's got to be at least a thousand, right? Like a thousand echo worth? I think? I'm not sure. I can't do the mental math on that, but that is pretty expensive. And seven crew. I'm guessing they don't come back. And it takes similar stuff, but even more stuff, to try to help with Aestavel. 
The Gantz source can be obtained from the Eater of Names near the Chelinade. What the hell is the Eater of Names? Near the Chelinade? Huh? I don't know. Maybe there's something down here that I haven't found yet. In the blackness. There are still black spots on the map, which is kind of weird, actually. If you think about it. Given how long I've been playing this game, it's kind of amazing. There's still black spots. Hmm. I'll have to fix that one day. But that day is not today. Should I use my something that wastes me in port? I'm about to be at the Chelinate, and it's not going to come back by the time I get there. Hmm. Eh, yeah, sure. I don't remember what this does. Lost five terror. Memory of distant shore. Okay. Not bad. They don't sell anything. Let's go. I don't think there's any reason to go down to the Dawn Machine. I've already seen the thing. I've already been sufficiently creeped out by it. Don't think you can interact with it in any way. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. I want to fight those blue bat bird things. The past two times I've been to Port Carnelian, they've been there. And this time, I want some revenge. Even though they didn't actually do anything to me, I want revenge just for the fact that they... Uh, scared me. Yeah. Because things that scare you deserve to die, right? Oh, I love the music here. My something away being port actually did come back. Got here just in time. Almost no supplies left. Alright, so I've got another agent. Let's try to put them in here. Costs a little bit of money. That's fine. Let's do it. God damn, I failed again. Ugh. Well, there goes another one. Sorry. Let's call it a room above a bookshop. I don't remember what that does. Oh, right. Port Kurt, uh... Give you a port report. Well, I guess I just need to buy tons of supplies. So, I'm going to want a bunch of supplies, but I am also going to get eight supplies when I trade in my frickins of red honey. Or, frickins of red honey. <laughs> I wish. Frickins of prisoner's honey. So that's going to gain me eight supplies, so I want a bit of room. So I, I don't want to fill up all the way. I want eight additional slots. Hmm. Well, I'm going to burn through a couple getting there. And some fuel. So I'll get three. That should be fine. Well, one more. One more will be fine. I kind of want to pan for sapphires in the fungal jungle just to see what happens. Because I've never done it. 52% chance is not bad. Let's do it. Succeeded. A glimmer of truth. Braving the jungle's violet spore drifts, you find a narrow stream. You kneel among the red-capped agarix that spot its banks. It doesn't heave with sapphires, as the story's promised, but an afternoon's panning yields a pocketful of glittering shards. Oh, so it doesn't actually give you sapphires directly. It just gives you the money from selling the sapphires, basically. 33 Echo. That's not very good, to be honest. And I wonder what happens if you fail. If you lose a crew member if you fail, then I don't think that's worth it. But maybe if you fail, you just don't find anything, so you just don't gain any money, or, or maybe you don't gain as much money. It's probably not that big of a deal to fail. There's no point in trying to find... The snuffer, right? Because I don't have an agent, so I'd have to use candles, which I don't have. Yeah. Okay, time to go. Alright, let's head over to the Utter Shroom. 
And let's look for stuff to fight along the way. I want to blow stuff up. Come on. Bluebirds. Fluke core. Fight me. I have the power. Hello. Whoops, I just clicked out of the game. Come back, game. Thank you. They actually do have a lot of hit points. Oh, well, I can always go to port if they start beating me up too much. Here we go. Are they going to mobilize and actually head towards me? Slow down. Oh, 15 damage. Okay. Okay, yeah, they're uh, they're pretty nasty. Easily fightable, but gonna go through a lot of hit points doing it. You've destroyed the Blue Prophets. A mortal battle against parrots. That's the Elder Continent for you. Record their cries or recover feathers. They'll sell in London and in Khan's heart. Alright, so that's just like a money thing, and this is probably fragments. The Prophets speak the names of those about to die. In truth, most of the sounds they make are more squawk than word. But perhaps you can glean something from the dying birds. If you listen carefully. Alright, so once again, I think it's a choice between money or fragments. Let's go with money, because I am relatively low right now. 63 royal blue feather, holy crap. Well, I guess when you kill a cloud of parrots, you do get a lot of feathers, huh? And I'm assuming, well, yeah, that can't take up hold space, otherwise I would have been totally overburdened. Uh, where did it say you could sell them? This would fetch 63 echoes in Fallen London, so it's one echo per feather. That is... garbage. Do I have them anywhere else? Consart. Oh, they sell for twice that at Consart. They sell for two. And, uh, that's all I've got on the list. So yeah, that really wasn't worth that much. That is a uh, hundred and twenty-six echo worth if I sell them at Con's heart. Bleh. Well, I guess that'll pay for the whole damage, I suppose. <laughs> Let's pan for more sapphires. This time I failed. Okay, so you get no money, but you gain one tear and one tail of tear. Okay. <laughs> Wait. A native ambush. Uh, perhaps ambush is a strong word. But there's a tiger sitting on a broad mushroom cap asking unflattering questions about your nutritional value. You retreat. <laughs> Alright, oh. You know, I should probably buy more supplies at this point, right? Yeah. Alright. I feel comfortable getting into a fight with one more thing, with the amount of health that I have. What's the half point of 450? 225. So if I get to 225, that's when I'm going to start losing my crew, or losing speed? Or both? I don't remember what... That, that's when you lose speed, right? When your hole's at half or below? That's when you can only go half speed or something? I, I don't remember now, actually. If something bad happens if you get to half. I think. Or is it something bad happens when you get to half crew, not half hole? I don't remember. I'm gonna stick close to the shore and just see what's around here. I'm gonna see if I can reveal more of the blackness. Oh! Discovered Booble's Thicket. This place is so lush. If 
I remember right, the first time I came here, I was trying to dodge a massive... A massive moth of some sort. I remember I was going in between islands and stuff, trying to dodge it. Alright, I should probably go north now. There we go, just revealed a little black spot that was here. Yeah, in fact, I could have bought a lot more supplies, actually. I've got more than enough room for the supplies I'm going to gain from giving them the firkins of prisoners' honey. Okay. Give me more blemigans. Actually, let's get a port report first. There we go. Let's visit the village. One terror, one tale of terror. Alright, now I've got eight docile blemigans. I've got a lot of stuff in my hold now. Okay, to Adam's Way. Let's go through the blackness, try to reveal a little bit more of the map. So let's go through this stuff right here. fight him again. It's going to take out a lot more. Um. Hmm. I don't think I do. No. I wonder if... It would be a really long fight, but I wonder if I could take him out with my aft weapon. Because I could go forwards a lot faster than I can go backwards. Maybe I could outrun them the whole time. And just keep shooting them with my aft weapon. It would take like 20 shots to kill them with the aft weapon, though. There we go. Revealed all the blackness. Alright, I should have plenty of ways to enter here. Yep, I've got recent news and the port report from Mount, Mount Palmerston that I've been saving for pretty much forever, I think. Let's use the port report first. Let's see if we can get up to some cannibalistic activities. Oh, right, Blemigans. Let's put a Blemigan ashore first. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. An ecstatic exit. The southern mountain heat seeps around the slopes of the hill. The soil of the elder the soil of the elder continent is rich and strange. If the Blemigan can survive in it at all, it should flourish. Excellent, it didn't instantly die this time. Oh, that used up my entire day. Okay then, I'm glad I had two ways to enter this place. Otherwise I would have been really worried. Hold on, I'll be right back. 
Alright, so I've got one more shot at this. I've got my recent news to use, and if this doesn't work, then, well, I don't have any other tickets for entry. The problem is, is once again, I don't remember how to do the cannibal storyline. I don't remember. How do you do it? I don't think you assist at the hospital. I don't think that does anything. I don't think it's a curiosities. Do you listen to the storyteller? Oh, it's got to be this, right? Unlocked with Adam's way. Guest at a red table no more than zero. It's Yeah, it's got to be this. Because the red table, that has to be the whole cannibal thing. Alright, so let's do that. So we've done this before. That's a port report. That's great. Well, wait. No, now that's gone. Oh, I think, um, yeah, the options change as the day progresses. So I think we maybe just need to do some other stuff. And then maybe at the end of the day, the feast will appear. I think. I really hope I don't mess this up, because if I do, then I'm going to have to come back here some other time. Which would be really lame. Um, What should I do? Catch a nut? Just sit? I guess I should assist. Oh, this is unlocked when the brisk campaigner has recovered. Which I now have and I didn't have it before, so this might be something interesting. Yeah, ask the brisk campaigner to educate the monks. She has a unique perspective on the disease, being, as far as you know, the only person to survive it. Yeah, let's see what that does. Two lectures. My cure is not one that can or should be replicated. But in the course of pursuing it, I learned a great deal about my condition. The monks listen avidly. Afterwards, they expressed, they expressed their appreciation with a sack of sliding black beans. The Abbey's coffee is highly regarded for its robust, aromatic flavor. The prior is happy to tell you their secret. We feed the beans to a certain breed of sloth in the valley. The juices of their digestive tract dissolve the less ripe beans, while applying a distinct nutty character to the surviving superior beans. Then, once the bean has completed its passage through the sloth, we... Ew! I don't want to drink that coffee! That is disgusting! <sighs> I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. Alright, now I've got another sack of Dark Drop coffee beans. Wait, so that's the be those are the beans that I've been buying this entire game? Are sloth ass beans? Don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. Alright, so every, <laughs> every time the day progresses, let's go back and see if anything new has opened up. Alright, everything's still the same. So, let's do it again, I guess. Just <laughs> more education. Another sack, another tail, some more fragments. Ooh, here we go. Attend a funeral fe... Fuck! I blew it. I blew it. I blew it. Shit. I think I did that before and I forgot. I forgot you needed something away to import. What did I even use it up on? I don't remember. Fuck. Ah. Oh. That's it. I don't have any other way of gaining entrance around here. Um I, I as far as I know there's nowhere to get a recent news around here. I certainly can't get a Mount Palmerston port report and the other thing the log fragment whatever I, I don't even know. I think I got that from the from blowing up a ship or something just by luck. Well, Fuck. All right, I'm going to write it down on my notes right now so I never forget. When going to Adam's... Adam's way, keep your something awaits you in port and pass time until feast. There. I will never forget it ever again. Well, I will forget it, but it'll always be there to remind me. 
Never again. Never again. Let's just go to the hospital, I guess. More. Edumacation. That is disappointing. That is disappointing. <laughs> is there anywhere I can get an unread log? I guess just by blowing stuff up and praying to God? Praying to the Unterzi? To Salt and Zeus and Cthulhu and whatever lives down here? Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Alright, what do I do from here? Hmm. I want to explore down here. Let's explore. Let's go to Varkas and yeah, let's um let us let's let a Blemigan off at Varkas. And then let's just reveal the whole coastline down here. Or we could go off the map at Adam's Way and see what happens. Um, I do have a lot of fuel and a lot of supplies to be honest. Uh Eh, whatever. Let's do it. I want to make up for uh, the lack of excitement. I want to make up for my, my mess up at Adam's Way. Let's do something exciting. By the way, we're all going to die. I'm 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 going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What's happening? Ah, what's that sound? It sounds like I'm boiling. Am I being boiled alive? Oh, God. Goodbye, cruel world. Way upstream. They say the only... They say that only the captain of a living ship can dare the water of Adam's Way. But they've never met you. The mountain's blood. Upstream. Up the Red River into the continent's heart. With every mile, the red is deeper. Your ship groans like calving ice. Of course, and it requires veils. The one skill I'm complete garbage at. Let's see. Oh man, a bunch of stuff happened. Forests unseen. In London, they never imagine what grows here. Orchards of bones. Iron upright as aspens. Flint pillars, fecund with faceted apples. Gemmed faces turn to watch you from the rock. Your crew are entranced. They begin to leave you, one by one, slipping ashore when you moor, or giving themselves to the river. You are almost alone when you arrive at Caution, that hundred-tongued city. Its flowers shine like fruited ice. The pilgrim wakers condescend to meet with you. They give you gifts, an egg, and a knife. Turn back, they tell you. The presbyter will not meet with you. You've not lived enough. How right they were. How right they were. You stand at the docks of the port at the river's mouth, and look upon your empty ship, its scabbed sides, its paper-thin hull. In your left hand, you hold a knife. In your right, an egg. Um. Um. I can't help but look up at the top left and top right of the screen and notice that I have one hole and one crew! Well, I think I've had enough uh, fun for now. Okay, I've got a Judgment's Egg um, and an Outlandish Artifact. Oh, great! <laughs> an Outlandish Artifact and a Judgment's Egg. That makes up for the fact that I'm about to fucking die. Well, and I died. Somehow? Wait, how did I die? I don't understand. I was at one and now I'm at zero. <laughs> I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. Um...
Well, I guess I have no, uh, no choice. <laughs> the second captain has been lost to the Undersea. I'm not that sad, because I know that I have a bunch of stuff built up, and stuff saved, and I have my child, which I think will carry on my legacy. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting this. I was not expecting this. Alright. Let me read over this, and I will be right back. Okay, well, this is horrible. Um, the fact that I have a Scion, the, the kid, means that I can choose two legacies instead of just one. Which is nice. I can retain some of my iron. Uh, I can retain 50% of my iron value, which, since my iron value is not over 50 to begin with, means I don't actually gain any iron by doing that. Uh, but I do get to keep the weapon, which means I can keep the Memento More, which is incredibly important. This will let me keep 50% of my mirrors, which was by far my best stat, so it takes it up from 25 to 38. Which is still nowhere near what it was. And I get 50% of the money, which is not that much, because I was kind of poor at the time, because I spent it all on the ship. The ship which I lost. Uh... Basically, I lost 95% of everything. Your next character inherits your lodgings, along with any heirlooms you have stored there. I don't think I have any heirlooms. I do have the lodgings, so my next person is going to start with, basically, significantly better mirrors. 800 echoes, the memento more, and my lodgings. That's it. I mean, it's better than starting fresh, but that is, I've, like, I've, uh, yeah, I lost pretty much everything. <gasps> Fuck, I, d I honestly didn't think I was going to die there. Like, I was kind of worried because it's a scary place to go, but usually the game doesn't punish you that hard. Usually if you do something that's kind of scary or nasty, it just increases your terror by quite a bit, or you lose some crew, or you gain a wound. I didn't think it would actually fucking outright kill me. I don't know if it's because my hole was not at 100% that it did it, uh, or what. I don't, honestly, I, I don't even know what happened, because my hole went down to one, so I thought it was... I thought the story event maybe just set your hole and crew to one, and then asked you to try to get back to London and survive on that. So it went down to one, but then as soon as I pressed next or whatever, it suddenly I, I died and I had zero hole. Like, I don't get what happened there. That was weird. Um, Yeah, I didn't expect the game to be that brutal. I expected it to give me a wound or two. Or lose a bunch of my crew. I did not expect that. And the tragic thing is... I don't want to play anymore. I really, really like this game, and I really like what I was doing, and I really wanted to keep playing it, but this is almost as if I'm starting completely anew. Almost every single story event I do in the game will be stuff that I've already done before. If I start anew. I could try different options, sure. But for the most part, it's gonna be the same. I think that just ruined the game for me. Yeah. I don't want to play anymore. I mean... It's not as if I feel like I've been, I don't know, ripped off or something. I've, I mean, I've gotten an amazing amount of, of fun and interesting adventures out of this game. I've played it for, what is this? This is episode 58, so I've played it for roughly, like, almost, almost 60 hours, like 55 to 60 hours. That is incredibly long. That really is incredibly long. And I have enjoyed an immense amount everything that I've played already. But I don't want to start again. I'm sorry, I really don't. <sighs> I could try a more mercantile life, maybe. I mean, I'd have to save up for the merchant ship in the first place, which would take quite a while. But I could do that, and I could help out different people. You know, go for different supremacies. But I was only barely starting to scratch, scratch the surface of supremacies and, you know, helping these different political factions out, so... That's not exactly doing anything terribly new. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking about it, and there's not that much different stuff I could do, really. I don't think it's different enough to make it worth it. Different enough to keep it fresh. I think it would be like 30 hours or so of just, for the most part, boring drudgery to kind of get back to where I was. That's what I feel like it would be. The fastest I could do, and this would be miserable, but the fastest I could do would probably be to like go to the Isle of Cats and do that whole storyline and just try to farm, <laughs> farm red honey like some crazy insane person until I just gain a bajillion dollars and then buy the ship and all that stuff. But that wouldn't progress the storylines. That would only progress my money. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to say, I think this is the end of the Sunless Sea playthrough. There is a possibility I'll come back to it, like, maybe years down the line when it's, when I've forgotten a lot of what's happened and everything is fresh again, or, you know, maybe if there's a big expansion pack or something like that, but, ah, uh, I think that's it. I think poor Joshua York is the last in his line. I guess I'll accept my legacy for now. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Back with my comatose ferret. My unnamed shadow stranger. Well... I do believe that is it, folks. That was a very sudden and unexpected end. Very unexpected. Really, really. I felt... I felt pretty confident, actually. Despite joking that I was going to die going down there because I was scared, I felt pretty confident that whatever would happen would at least be recoverable. Even if bad, at least I'd be able to recover from it. Wow. The Untersea giveth and the Untersea taketh everything away and sink you to the bottom of the Z. Where I will be caressed by all the Cthulhus waiting for me down there to embrace me. I don't feel like I could like possibly give a proper end to this series, because I know there's a lot of people that have been watching for all episodes, all 58. Um, if you have, that's a long time. That is a very, very long time. Thank you very much for joining me. Everybody who's given me tips and all that stuff and just, you know, joined me for the journey in general. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did enjoy myself. I'm disappointed. But at the same time, I'm just really happy for all the really cool stuff that's happened in this game and just how freaking good it is. It's just so good. So even though there's no satisfying conclusion, the journey was really, really enjoyable. So once again, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. <laughs>